What do you think then, Chris? Really I, like? I'm made up with him, to be honest. I, I, you know, a couple of years ago, I think is where he, he sort of had his breakout year. The last two seasons, for me, he's been the better keeper of him and Reina. Yeah. Uh, and I think, again, for me, I'd be quite happy with Mignolet coming in and Reina going on that because, as we know with Torres, when you've had a couple of bad seasons, you don't always get it back. That being said, though, um, look, Mignolet could come to us and have a complete shit out, but that can happen with every keeper yeah. when they change goals. Well, this is the thing, is that we've had this, we, 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 the problem we've discussed with changing goalkeepers is that people forget that before Pepe Reina, we had some shit goalkeepers, and I'm, not, I'm being disrespectful to the likes of Jersey dude, that, you know, my God, we wouldn't have won the Champions League if it wasn't for him. But, you know, we had so many dodgy keepers. Pepe Reina has been our most consistent and most talented goalkeeper, and I would say as far back as, like, Clements. You know, so there is a major gamble bringing someone else in, but I, I like the look of him and I like the, the saves he makes. And there's, a, there's some stats there compared on uh, EPL Index, which is a, a fantastic website. Check it out. Like Pepe Reina's got a greater pass completion at last season, um, better goals per uh, games per clean sheet. But what Mignolet stands up in, it's, it's big chances save percentage. He's got a 45% of big chances save compared to 31 for Pepe Reina. Um, 68% of saves in the box compared to 58 for Reina as well. Far more of a shot stopper. And again, he's in a side that's going to have a lot more saves to make as well. So I, I like the fact that he, he, he looks good even in a, in a shit side. Yeah, and look, let's. I would totally discount the pass completion as well because Pepe Reina for a lot of the year last year was told to play it short yeah. and Mignolet like, and, and Sunderland don't do that so he's hoofing the ball up the field a lot more yeah. so his pass completion is going to be a lot lower as well and, yeah. and going back to his shots he is a, a, an actually world class shot stopper yeah. he's brilliant at it like some of the saves that he makes you look like oh fucking hell I know they're breathtaking the things he manages to pull out pure reflexes and the fact that he uses his whole body as well he makes himself big because we want like to what Michael used to it, Exactly, and also what Rainer, you know, when he goes down, he, he goes down, up, so to speak, like, does and, and, and Mindelay does Chest that very out. well as well, he actually reminds me of a young Rainer in that respect, and what we got going, what we, what we talked about, Pepe Rainer on 100 odd grand a week, apparently, um, at the top of his game, he's probably worth that money, but do we need to be spending 100 grand on a keeper at the minute, I don't, I don't know, I, 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 you know, I'm a, I'm a massive fan of Pepe Rainer, I'd keep him all day long, but uh, Mindelay's 24 years old, if he's the next Pepe Rainer, then fair play. It's 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 a sensible piece of business. It only falls down if, as you say, he comes in and he does like uh, the amount of times we've seen keepers come and think of like Tim Howard's a great goalkeeper when he went to Man United. He had a good half a season, season, then he was shocking after them. We've seen keepers come to clubs, seen players come to Liverpool and be a bit overawed by the expectations, and that's that's the big the big talk. I think the, for me. the thing that Liverpool fans might forget this time around is that we're going to have a new defence anyway, mm -hmm. and so Rain is going to have to learn. To play with that new defence yeah. and, and a higher line and stuff, so it, it's like signing another keeper anyway. Yeah, so well, exactly. Like so let us know. Would you have uh, Simon Minier? Apparently, reportedly, uh, we're looking at a nine million bid. It could well be done and dusted by the time this comes out, or unless that's complete just bullshit speculation, as we know happens from time to time. Again, we're going to move on to look at Toby Alderweireld. Uh, but first, actually, one reason why we really need to sign Minier is he's got the best hunk in the world. Um, and here's a little clip of that. 